Howdy do. Hi. All right, so I haven't posted anything in a while, so I figured I might as well start now. Yeah. So this is Kristen. Hey, guys. I'm Kristen. And I'm Daniela. And this is Daniela. <laughs> so we are going to do the 100 questions tag. Ooh. You ready? You ready, girl? I'm ready, girl. Ready for some questions? Oh, look. It's by iGirl. Yeah. By who? iGirl. Oh, fancy. Okay. So, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? My closet doors have to be closed because I'm a psycho. I am just obsessive compulsive, so I keep them closed. Yeah. See? Yeah. They're always closed and never open unless I'm picking out clothes, you know? Um... Let's see. Do you take shampoos and conditioner bottles from hotels? Yes. Always. Girl. The soap. You got to be taking that because it comes in handy. It's complimentary. It's part of the experience. It really is. I mean, if you're paying all that money to stay at some hotel for the night. It's free. You might as well take a few little amenities. Yeah. Souvenirs. No shame. No shame. Not at all. Uh, Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? I think my sheets are tucked out. Mine start tucked in, and then by the end of the night, like, my sheets are all over the floor. My sheets were on the floor this morning, and my dog was on I don't know what I do during the night, but who knows? It's a mystery. I have to put a camera in here or something. Let's see. Have you ever stolen a street, a street sign before? What does that mean? A street sign, like one of those... Stolen one? Yeah, have you ever taken one off the pole? Um, no. Me neither. Oh, I don't... I've stolen other things. <laughs> <laughs> but not street signs. Oh my gosh. No, I've never stolen a street sign. That's good. I'm proud of you. Thanks, girl. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Do you like to use post-it notes? Um, no. I love post-it notes because I always forget everything. So then I write out all my lists. I do that in like under my iPhone, like my notes. Really? I don't like that. <laughs> really? No. I technology, prefer posts. Technology is just you kids and your crazy new fads. <laughs> uh, ah, this one's for you. <laughs> do you cut out coupons? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I always them. use them. You use them. <laughs> we went to Wendy's one time, and I got a couple burgers, fries, fries. a chili, a couple drinks, cheese fries. I brought my own water. And, and you charged our, your phone with their outlet. I tried to use their outlet to charge my phone. And, the and our bill meal. wound up being like $4 for like a lot of food. So, hey, don't knock the coupons. They were good coupons. They were, I used them for you, too. So, so she you're does, welcome. Thanks, girl. She does use the coupons. Do you? Do you ever you cut I cut coupons? them all the time, and I never use them. They always expire. Could have saved a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. Um... Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Wow. I feel like with bees, I hate bees to death, but I don't. I think you could survive a bee attack more. What if it was like a sea bear attack? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, if I have my sea bear circle or the underwear, and my aunt. No, that's for the rhinoceros. <laughs> okay, that's the sea. That's the lucky sea rhinoceros undergarments. All right, I would rather be attacked by a bear. Really? Because that's like a good story to tell. Like, what if? Yeah, but if you die, you won't. Have, you won't <laughs> no, but if you're allergic, to if you're allergic to bees, you can definitely die. Yeah, but what if you're not? Who wants to be attacked by bees? Like, that's at like, least you have a better chance of surviving that than a bear attack. And your face is a little bit. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll make like a ten minute debate on this next video. A bear. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you do have, have freckles? freckles? Do I have? Mm, you have like, no, not really. No. They mean like like you have a little kind of like over here. Let's see. Does she have freckles? Can you see guys? I don't think you would be able to. I don't have any freckles. No. I don't have any freckles. No. I like freckles. Freckles are adorable. Freckles are cool. I don't have any. I want dimples. Uh, do you always smile for pictures? Yes, always. I always smile for pictures, except when I'm being like a douche and go like you know, like yeah. on Miley face. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's the smiley. That's the smiley. Yes. Uh, what is your biggest pet peeve? Oh, I mean, I have, can we, can we, we let the rolling list. <laughs> the list fell to the floor. Out the, the window. Scroll. My biggest pet peeve. Um. All right. Um. 
I hate liars. And you know, people beat around the bush. Preach, bro. Preach. I hate... What is my biggest pet peeve? It's the biggest. Like, the one thing. I hate being yelled at. That just, like, that kind of... That's, that can that be rather unpleasant. Thing. Yeah. I think... I think that's it for now. Mine would be... People that give mixed signals and go back and forth on things. Like, really figure out what you want. Yes. Preach. Um, I hate... Basically, I guess the same thing. Two-faced people. Mm. I hate white girls with the Ugg boots at Starbucks. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, come on. That's like that's like some inhuman breed. No, you know what I don't like? When people wear Uggs in the summer, and then it's like you're wearing a tank top and shorts, and then you have like... It's because of on. them, I'm known as the swag generation. <laughs> Do you really want to be known for that? No. Next one. Do you ever count your steps when you walk? I count my steps when I walk. I, did I just say sex? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh. She I counts her sex. Steps. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> I, count, I count my steps when I walk when I'm doing, like, a stage. Per, like, if I'm, like, walking across the stage. So, like, I don't... Really? Like, yeah, it helps me focus. Oh, because I'm such a klutz. And, like, I will fall and, like, light the stage on fire. <laughs> so, so I need to like count. I never count my steps because I'm a lazy fuck. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Um, have you, you ever peed? Yeah. In no, the that's okay. Well, we'll answer that one first. Have you ever, ever peed, peed in, in the, the woods? woods? No, no. I don't think I've ever peed in the woods. I peed by a playground once. It was in my backyard, though. To be fair. <laughs> oh, I peed in my backyard one time too. <laughs> well, then both, don't judge. Both of my bathrooms were being <laughs> occupied, and I really had to pee, so there you go. How old were you? Oh, yeah, you know, last year. Two weeks ago. <laughs> Yesterday. Okay. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Moving on. Do you, oh, let's see. Um. Oh, yeah, that was the next question, actually. Uh, what about pooped in the woods? No. Never. No. I like to save that for the toilet, you know. <laughs> TMI. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Do you ever dance even if there's no one around? Or if there's no music playing? Of course. Yeah. How I'm you, a horrible how do you dancer. Not? But I always dance with I don't no mean music. robot. It's, 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 it's. <laughs> um, next one. Do you chew your pens and pencils? No. Yes. No. And that is always. one of my pet peeves as well. I hate chewed pen caps. Do you, do you chew the cap? <laughs> I do that in every class. They're all wrinkled and they have all bite marks. I like that. (laughs) It's better than biting my nails. Oh, I hate biting nails too. I can never do that. No. Mm. How many people have you slept with this week? (laughs) Is that like in a bed or is that like sexual? Yeah, I mean, either way it's not. (laughs) (laughs) The same answer. I mean... I mean, you probably still get the same answer, too, if you ask me how many I've slept with within the past 18 years. None. Um, hashtag. What is it? That's a hashtag? I don't know. I'm looking at the hashtag. I see. Did I answer the question? No, you didn't. Tell us, Kristen. All right. I sleep with my pillow pet every night. I think I just told you that. Whore. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Secrets out. <laughs> Okay. What size is your bed? What's with all these sexual questions? Want to really? know if there's more room for people to fit in? Hey, they there's always in. room for you. <laughs> um, what size is my bed? I think I have a queen size bed. My bed in my house, which I am in right now, is <laughs> a full size. I could probably squeeze like three people if need. Hey. My college bed is the size of a peanut. So Aww. it can barely fit me. <laughs> Don't be surprised if I fall off the bed. I need one of those, like, bedside nets. Gosh. The struggle. Oh, you know. What is your song of the week? Oh, God. I have, like, a song, song of the second. Yeah. Um. Oh, I know. I've been listening to a lot of Cheetah Girls this week. Really? No shame. And I've been listening to my girl Raven. And there's this old uh, throwback song called Backflip. Pretty cool. Probably check that out. I've been busting that out in my car rides. Really? Backflip? Original G. Yeah. 
what's your song of the week? Song of the week. Um, it's something about I don't even know what it's called. It was free on iTunes, and I cannot stop listening to it. Well, gosh, it must have been that memorable then. If you can't no, even remember because, the title. All right, you know what? I'm gonna look for it right now. All right. Well, while she's looking for that, because <laughs> they play it on the radio. Is it okay for guys to wear pink? Yeah. Why yes. Not? I think the that's sexy so guys cute. wear pink. I mean, I think that's really cute. Wear pink. Pink is sexy. I'm wearing pink. I mean, I'm not a guy, but or are you? That's for next week's one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it's totally... Guys can wear whatever colors they yeah, want. Yeah, I hate that. That's like, a big deal. Yeah. Do you still watch cartoons? Yes. Why every day. Why would you ever stop? That Who doesn't watch cartoons? I mean, you can't go wrong with classic Spongebob. Spongebob, Adventure Time. Do you watch Adventure Time? No, I don't, actually. Don't that show looks like they were on weed before writing it. That's, that's the point. <sighs> what is your least favorite movie? My least favorite movie. Mm-hmm. It's this sci fi called Splice. What's it about? Okay. Chick and a dude, they're a couple, science people. They create an alien. This alien is a girl. It's their baby. Okay, so this is their baby alien. The baby alien grows up. So now the boyfriend starts having sex with the baby alien. The baby alien grows into a man. And then rapes. Rapes. The guy's girlfriend. And that was, that's the story. Oh, that sounds beautiful. It's disgusting. We got it on Redbox. My least favorite movie. I did a lot of movies I don't really care for. I mean, it's probably one of those crappy history movies we were shown in high school. You didn't like those? Those are boring. I, I mean, it was good nap time. I love those. I hated those. Those are boring. Uh, where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? If I had well, some. Well, I mean, why would I tell you? Because then... You guys would, like, try to steal it. So let's skip that exactly. question and go I mean, back. I don't want anyone to steal my treasure. It's called Love Me Again by John Newman. Oh, the song, right. Okay, so Love Me Again by John Newman. I guess you should look it up because Kristen loved it enough to forget the words. I love it. And the, the artist and title, so... It's a good song. Um... Uh-huh. What do you drink with dinner? Oh, you know, a little bubbly, bubbly. I like to break it. I'm drinking some right now, actually. <laughs> You're gonna. Here we go. Ooh, polar seltzer. You know, it's the bubbliest. It was a good flavor. It's nice. I think it's cranberry lime. What do I drink with dinner? Um, either water or tea. I like iced tea. Ice. I was gonna say tea with dinner. I mean, that's not very thirst quenching. No, not like. No, yeah, iced tea. The good shop right brain. Oh, okay. Now we're getting into the heavy questions. <laughs> what do you dip a chicken nugget in? <laughs> chicken nuggets. Okay, barbecue sauce, ranch sauce. I approve. Sweet and sour. Do you like sweet and sour too? No. No. I don't like those Chinese sauces. Or no, from McDonald's. I, yeah, it reminds me of like General Tso's chicken. Oh, I I don't like that. I don't like. I don't think sweet and sour should be combined. That, oh, that's true. A little oxymoron. Okay, ranch, barbecue, sweet and sour, and then the buffalo, the spicy one. Yes. Yummy. I mean, you're forgetting one of the most important ones, blue cheese. I hate blue cheese. No! Uh, we can't be friends anymore. No, I'm sorry. I, I hate mean, blue once, once we finish these questions, or I friendship, have to leave. you're going to have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken. Mac and cheese. All right, next question. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> what movies could you watch over and over and still love? Oh, I, I know one. It's one we actually saw together. Pitch Perfect? Yes. Yay! I love that yeah, I, I mean, That movie will never get old. I would like to think of Fat Amy as my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> next question. <laughs> oh, last, last person, person you kiss slash kiss me. Person. Does that mean like human? Yeah. I think person my is dog, synonymous with human. My dog doesn't count. No. Last person I kissed. You don't have to name drop, you know. I kissed my mom on the cheek before oh. I, like, I left. Oh, okay. I guess Were you talking about, like, a mouth kiss? I guess. I don't know. I haven't kissed someone in, like, a year. I kissed someone once. It was horrible. Next question. Awkward. Were you ever a boy slash girl scout? <laughs> I was never a boy scout, but I was a girl scout. <laughs> I hated it. I was... She said I was a Boy Scout. I was a Girl Scout in the fourth grade, and I would make bracelets. Just for one year? Yeah. 
What did you do with all those bracelets? I don't know. Why did you give me that thumbs up? They Sorry. were ugly. I mean, you already, that's strike two right there. Uh, first the blue cheese and now the bracelets. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? All right, this all comes mm. down to one thing. Photoshop. I was going to say dollar dollar bills. That's true. Well, I mean, yeah, first, <laughs> how much are you going to pay me? If it's good pay, I mean, maybe, if they do it in, like, a tasteful way and they do a lot of Photoshopping, you know, a little shaving off, shaving off the, the rolls and... No, you would look good in a magazine. You're beautiful girl. Oh, thanks. Mm. The answer would be... <laughs> Depends. Um... If it's good money, then yes. Is that your answer? Yeah. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? I actually wrote one to my friend. We exchanged a couple letters in college, so that was nice. I like getting homemade letters. And then one of my other friends sent me one, and it made me smile. Um, Nothing wrong with the good old-fashioned letter. I love handwritten letters. They're so romantic. Me too. The last time I wrote a letter was in... The fifth grade. Yeah, all this talk about the letters. Sure, Kristen, sure. It was. I had this biggest crush on this guy, and his name was Sean. Oh. And I wrote him a letter, and then, like, he ripped I mean, Sean, he, if like, you're watching this, he, Kristen's like, single and ready to mingle. <laughs> he ripped it up, and he was like, don't talk to me. Oh, that's horrible. I know. And oh then I wrote God. him another one. That's terrible. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I was, I was like, I didn't appreciate you ripping up my letter. Oh my god! And that was the last time I wrote a letter. That was beautiful. Can you change the oil on a car? Um, no, no. I don't know how my mom usually does that. Yeah, my I dad have to learn it. That should be like part of the answer. Okay. Let's do that next. <laughs> next, we'll, we'll learn and then we'll uh, we'll show we'll you show you a tutorial on how to change your oil. <laughs> yes. In your car. Okay. Ever gotten a speeding ticket? No. I'm so surprised that I haven't because I'm the worst driver in the I, street. I'm like worse than SpongeBob. <laughs> I don't think you... No, Running you, all over the you traffic. You have a license. Yeah, you I do. Have That's, a true. License. That's true. That's true. I've never gotten a speeding ticket. I speed all the time. I mean, I... No, I'm not admitting that. Oh, I mean, if there's like a cop <laughs> watching this right now. No, speeding is bad. <sighs> don't text and drive. Eat your vegetables. Stay in school or don't because college sucks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ever ran out of gas? No. I haven't. Um, I've been in a car. Someone was giving me a ride, and they have. It was not the best experience. <laughs> what did you guys do? We had to, like, walk to a gas station, oh. and, like, we, we filled up the red thingy with gas. And That's we, ratchet. We had to walk back to the car, and then, <laughs> and then she asked for gas money at the end. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was... <laughs> Yeah, that was in high school. That's beautiful. Mm. All right. Um, I've never ran out of gas, but if I did, my mom made me a member of AAA, so oh my, I could mom always call that. them. Yeah, you know, AAA. Helpful. All right. So we're getting a little time here, so we're gonna kind of try and divide these up now into like so they're not so long. Otherwise, this would be like an hour. So we'll see you on the next video or the next thirty or so. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.